namaste everyone um before beginning the program i would like to seek the blessings of uh, our ancestors for example dr cp matthew dr bm hegde sir dr valiathan sir who has uh, showed us the path in which we should walk and they have put a very strong foundation in which we have to progress and at the same time i would like to thank uh, various ayurveda vaidyas who uh, in the last few years have guided me and given me the courage to treat many complicated cases at the same time i would like to thank my seniors my colleagues and my juniors who even in the field of modern medicine uh, who have supported the small work which we have been doing so to begin with um, the case which uh, previously i had discussed about a case in covid icu Uh, a brief history goes like this a 30 year old female was admitted in covid icu for, for one week she was in ward for one week and she was shifted as her condition deteriorated she was shifted to icu and her general health went on deteriorating for example she developed sepsis not responding to even higher end antibiotics and uh, uh, her oxygen requirement or ventilator requirement went on increasing and uh, depending on the uh, uh, and the doctors who were treating there we are very much aware of the treatment which i had given in icu the previous week so and she, uh, she was not responding to any of the antibiotics even the inflammatory markers were very high they were not coming down you know and um, once they realized that you know the oxygen is dropping down they decided to intubate her and as we know intubation is um, you know especially in covid it is very difficult to recover the patient once the patient is intubated and the patient's relative is uh, our madam you uh, know in, in our college so and uh, the anesthetist actually convinced uh, our professor to start i have the treatment at this point of time so for example this is a case uh, this was the saturation before starting i have the treatment and after one hour of i have the treatment it comfortably reached up to 90 and i would like to spend some time here when i made this post on social media some people had the doubt if you see this is the same photo the 42114 everything this is same monitor the date in the monitor corresponds to 2018 so they were confused whether it's manipulated or whether it's the covid like the covid started in 2020 how this monitor date is 2018 uh, i don't think many people are aware of this many a times the monitors when we switch it on they start from the date of manufacture so then we have to reset it again some of the monitors are like that and this is if you see if you go to google photos there is a proof that the date the time the place all the photos that have been taken usually i did not uh, want to respond to this to social media and uh, why i wanted to give the clarification is many of the well wishers actually they wanted me to respond usually i don't uh, waste my time in responding to the doubters or people who don't have belief in this so this is one clarification uh, an important point to be made and more about uh, this is actually i was given a free hand in our covid icu to treat patients and i was invited several times to treat why am i giving this information is uh, at present very few people uh, have started defaming ayurveda people in the stream of modern medicine and i would like to convey through this program that 97 to 98% of the doctors in modern medicine are for ayurveda are favoring ayurveda so there is nothing like you know we hate ayurveda we are for friendship and um, these are the medications given in the case on the very first day let me show the medicines uh, before this is actually hemagarbha kottali uh, which i gave the first dose maybe i gave around uh, uh, 250 mg of the dose as the first shot and uh, these are the basmas and these are the tablets which were not available in basma form with me that time so i decided to give in a tablet form a brief details about the medications which were given uh, like hemagarbha kottali from dudpapeshwar pharma and i gave 1 gram of that medicine in the first day itself that in divided doses and 2 grams in the next two weeks and malagarbha kottali from uh, uh, which i had from uh, vaidya gopkrishna sir from bellary um one capsule contains 125 mg of this uh, medicine with and uh, another 125 mg of avipatikara godanti and other basmas i gave that capsule 111 uh, with a dosage for 7 days and shwasakas chintamani rasa from dudpapeshwar which comes in uh, 125 mg tablets 
a TID dosage for one week followed by 101. And Siddha Makaradwaja from IMIS, the dose is same as uh, Shwaska Sintama Nirasa. And Sahasraputi Abraka Basma from Dhut Papeshwar, that I gave at the dose is of 500 mg. That is one full pack of the medicine which was available in the team, 500 mg on first day in divided dosages, followed by 500 mg per week. And other uh, medicines like Chaushita Pipali, 10 gram per week, Rasa Sindhura, 250 mg per day, Samir Panagrasa, 125 mg per day, Praval Pishti, and Lagasutha Shekarasa, which are uh, big tablets, 800 mg tablets. She was able to swallow the tablet. So I gave in some in tablet form also. And the problem is like, for example, we need to spend minimum time inside ICU. We cannot keep mixing the medicines, preparing the medicines in ICU. So what I did was um, when I got the call, uh, I actually, this is the stone provided in the uh, Hemagrabha portali, that type of medicine. So what I did was I poured three, four drops of water and almost uh, uh, rubbed the medicine, almost half gram of that medicine and kept it under fan so that it will be dried up. So I need not spend my time rubbing it uh, inside the ICO. So I went inside ICU and just added two, three drops of water. So the medicine was uh, ready to be given and added one drop of honey and uh, ginger powder. Because ideally, as we know, we should add ginger juice, which is not, uh, uh, which is difficult for me to take along with TP kit, I added ginger powder. So I gave this initially and this very small quantity of the above mentioned basmas, for example, uh, this basmas which I prepared after mixing, I took it on, uh, inside IC and mixed with honey. And this mixture, you know, it is difficult to make her, uh, make the patient lick the medicine. So uh, I mixed it with a little bit of water and um, diluted it into 10 to 20 ml of liquid and uh, gave it her in uh, divided doses. Maybe for example, um, after 15 minutes, half an hour, one hour, I increased the frequency of the, uh, um, the gap between the doses. And this um, orange color is Siddha Makar Dvaja and uh, Mahalakshmi Vilas Rasa. And whatever is available in tablet form, uh, she was able to take the tablet form. She used to remove the NIV mask for a few seconds, take the tablet and put it once again. So in this way, I think uh, even uh, patient is intubated, I rub the medicine to the gums, especially Hemagarbha portali. And this basmas, basmas can be given through rice tube. And, uh, and uh, these are the values. Inflammatory marker, which was very high, within uh, 24 hours, it came down to 14. And even antibiotics, uh, which were used, uh, were of no use as accounts were persistently about 20,000. Even that came under control in a span of um, three days, only with Ayurveda medicines. And even deranged LFT was very much corrected. And um, some people actually, um, they were very much clever enough to just note the date on the monitor that it is labeled 2018, etc. Uh, they were trying to find some uh, error in this, but they were um, clever enough to neglect these dates. Uh, which were um, given in the reports. And many people actually, um, who are actually creating fear among public that, you know, uh, Ayurveda medicine, heavy metals can cause, uh, cause during RFT, LFT, et cetera. They were very much silent looking at these reports. And some people even commented, usually as a hepatologist, uh, what Shriji sir said, usually I think they commented on this post. And once they got to know the genuinity of this post, they tried to delete their comment. So I want to know the reason but when I was trying to reply to the uh, to these questions, you know, some of them already deleted their comments. So, and even the um, relatives of the patient who are in the field of modern medicine, they are very much aware that you know uh, she is alive because of uh, these medicines. I don't want to take the credit because she is alive because of Ayurveda and that too because of integrated medicine. Our integrated idea of integrated medicine. This is very important. Instead of telling she survived because of modern medicine or Ayurveda we can say that she survived because of the idea of cooperative medicine or integrated medicine. 